Yeah. You're shaking. I'm shaking. I'm still shaking. That's the power of we are back at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. It's a big moment. There's a new attraction opening. Uh, it's gonna be called Serengeti Flyer. Got a quick rundown. Top height, 135 feet. It's a giant swing. I've never ridden a giant swing like this, so we'll see. Well, we'll see how it is. And then afterwards, we're gonna be going to Universal Studios. The American Sirens are coming back to the Cursed Coconut Club. So we're gonna show that off to you guys. Get some cocktails. Oh, well, there it is. I'm a little nervous. I, yeah. <laughs> You can sit on the rocks over here, watch Cheetah Hunt roar by, and then you'll head over here. So there's a large area right before you get to the attraction. On the lights over here, you can see giraffes and rhinos. Before we go in, let's do a full little rundown. This is the new sign, Serengeti Flyers. This is where the wait time is gonna be. Now before you even enter into the line, they have a height check. You must be at least 48 inches to ride. I think you just passed. Out here, they have a test seat. This is Serengeti Flyers. This can also be a nice little photo op. So you'll get in, just like this. You'll sit in. And then it has a little light. If it's red, you can't sit. If it's green, you're good. All right, so they have a little description for larger guests. This attraction's restraint system may not accommodate guests with certain body dimensions. Please test this seat to ensure your ability to safely ride. Larger guests may not be able to ride due to seat configuration. You can see like leaf imprints in the concrete. There's some tire tracks. They do have a couple benches out here. They have a little photo op area right over here. How was it? It was great. Great. <laughs> First time, and last time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever tired and you just need to lean up against the table, uh, they got a table here for you. Got the lighting fixtures are like green ribbons. <laughs> Feel the wind just hitting you. I was the kid when I was growing up. Like my parents pushed me a little too high on the swing, I'd say stop. <laughs> so come my worst nightmare right now. But hey, we're doing it. Thank you. Oh my god. The intimidation is uh, real right now. It's so tall. <laughs> It was way fun. So they have a little cubby system here. Place loose articles in here, but after your ride, then you'll pick it up. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. And, so nice and peaceful right now. Now it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Look at the grass. <laughs> You're shaking. I'm shaking. I'm still shaking. <laughs> now kind of recovered from that. Uh, that was so much fun. <laughs> it's simple, but terrifying. It doesn't feel like Falcon's Fury, right? When you're like dropping in. It's more like a smooth start, right? But then you go quick. You're going up and you're going back and you're just looking straight down at the ground multiple times. 100 plus feet in the air and it is terrifying. The way you're harnessed in, you do feel safe. I didn't have a lot of movement. I know some people were sometimes worried about that. But you do kind of get a like weightlessness feeling when you're swinging back and forth and that was a lot of fun. This is a great ride. It's not so intense like Iron Gwazi where you're going upside down. Like I'm not nauseous afterwards, but you do have that adrenaline rush of going on this thing. I didn't know what to expect coming in today. I was like, okay, there's, there's a new swing coming to Bush Gardens. But then when you ride it, you're like, oh, this is like a must do now at this theme park. Bush Gardens Tampa Bay is amazing with all their thrill rides. And this is another great addition to it. You got a first ride button. We got the Serengeti Flyer one. Hi, right, Andrew, congratulations. Yeah. That was a uh, true experience. <laughs> So then, uh, what was your part in working on this new attraction? So I was actually the project manager for this attraction. So I was involved from A to Z on this whole attraction. How did the conversation go to, let's try this, let's switch it up and do a swing? Well, I mean, you've always got to look at the portfolio of what's currently in the park and what's kind of needed. So, I mean, we looked around and, and you can't just keep going back to back to back on roller coasters. So, I mean, nice flat ride was a pretty awesome addition, I think. And then what's the official story behind the attraction? Um, there's really no official story. I mean, it's just got African theming to it. I mean, like the patterning and things like that on it are, are really the big theme bit of it, but it doesn't have a huge story to this attraction. All right, time for round two. Uh, we're doing the back they were saying the backside is a little different, different angle, different view. Uh, so we're gonna show that off to you guys. See which one is better, more intense. Good. Checking out those red things on the end. Yeah, what is that? You push this down, but then there's also a seatbelt buckle right there. So this is not going anywhere. We're going backwards this time. Yeah, this is a different start. Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! 
god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. vehicles are pretty much the same except there's one this is for like people with handicaps there's kind of a grip here to help people grab on and grab the grip to get in the ride vehicle because if you look at these it's just slick so they added this to give people grip to get in we finished it is time to head off to universal studios now for the cursed coconut club we're back we've made it to universal studios orlando resort it took two hours to get from uh bush gardens tampa bay to here it's a thursday i don't know why it's so busy in orlando but we're here time to go to the cursed coconut club the american sirens are back so we're gonna hear them perform review some more drinks for you guys it is a busy day i like the new sign with the light on it for the nighttime welcome home i've arrived all the arrows are pointing us in this way I didn't notice that last time. Okay, so their set times are 5.30, 6.30, and 7.30. We got front row. We're gonna eat our pizza, and then uh... Hi mom! I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> the singers will be up there on the stage. You get the full moon right there. A voodoo witch doctor skeleton. <laughs> Thank you. 
the Voodoo Bijou, so it's gonna be a Fee Brothers Orange Bitters, Simple Syrup, Orange Zest, a Black Cherry Garnish. There's a little cherry hidden at the bottom. It's strong, but that's good. You get kind of like the zest of, right, the orange zest in there, and then on the back of your tongue, you're kind of getting that black cherry. I'm gonna do like a nine out of 10. Solid little drink. Gonna try something new. We're about to have a king's cake shot. So it's gonna be Fireball, Bailey's, and Rum Chata. You gotta ask your bartender for it. It's, it's not on the normal menu. That's wonderful. 10 out of 10, creamy, a little bit of heat from that Fireball. That's a Mardi Gras party in your mouth. It's a must. Now behind the bar, they have Chucky's knife all the way up there. We found one of the best Easter eggs ever when you're first walking into the first coconut club. Underneath the voodoo chair is a King Kong Easter egg. Literally, a King Kong Easter egg. How good is that? All right, now guys, remember the last week I showed you guys the Easter egg about the roof gator? I was very confused on the name Lindsberg. Like, who is Lindsberg? If you say it real quick, it's Ruth Gator Lindsberg. Kind of a play on words to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I thought that was a fun little nod and Easter egg. The next drink we got was the Cafe Berlot Diablo Liqueur and Gastra Bitters, Hella Smoked Chili Bitters, Monin Cinnamon Syrup, Brewed Coffee, Chilled, and an Orange Zest Slice with Clove Gold. Right, let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, solid little drink. Um, I'm not the biggest coffee fan, so this cocktail really wasn't for me, but I think if you're really into coffee, I think like an eight out of 10. It's got a good little bit of heat to it. It's kind of like a good chilled coffee. All right, just finished Cursed Coconut Club. Amazing as always, let's go back to the office to kind of talk about our day. Okay, now guys, we're back at home. Let's kind of talk about our little day. First off, let's talk about Serengeti Flyers at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. Is it the most game-changing attraction? No, but is it fun? Yes, it's terrifying and fun, and it's a simple little attraction. So Serengeti Flyers is already a great addition to the one wonderful resume that Busch Gardens has for thrill rides at their theme park. We were there for like a little media event, but it opens to the general public on Monday. So now let's talk about the Cursed Coconut Club, right? It's constantly evolving. I'm so glad the American Sirens are back. They always bring so much life into that little bar. I believe they're performing on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Some days they're there, some days they're not. So mostly pretty much the weekend is when they'll be performing, I believe until the end of Mardi Gras. But guys, let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts about Serengeti Flyers and the singers coming back to the Cursed Coconut Club at Universal Studios City Walk. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button, join the family. I love the family. Because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Universal Studios and theme parks around the country. I right, guys, I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon.